Now to the migrant crisis in the city. Today, Democratic members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus toured the Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown, which has been housing asylum seekers. Lawmakers say they wanted to see firsthand how city agencies were handling the situation so they can better advocate for federal solutions. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story. Small clashes outside the Roosevelt Hotel in Midtown, where the city says about 850 families or 3,000 asylum seekers are staying. We love everyone, right. but we can't break the city's budget. 24 year old mother Adriana Gomez wants people to know they didn't arrive here on a plane. It was a long, hard journey. They weren't sure they'd survive. She says they're here to work to feed their families. Victor says he wishes people would stop yelling at him. He too just wants to work, but says they need work permits. No to the work authorization. Democratic lawmakers from New York and other states like Texas, California, New Jersey, and Illinois toured the facility, noting the conditions were fair. Mental health services, there is health care services. They also spoke with asylum seekers inside. Children, families. People that want to work, people that are fleeing violence. It was very hard to hear at times with protesters drowning out lawmakers, but Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez says that there was a consensus on three things here today increased federal resources to cities and municipalities dealing with this issue. The second is to allow for work authorizations. The faster that folks can access the work that they're asking for legally, the better we can solve this problem. The third From the very beginning, there's been a lack of communication and a lack of collaboration. We need to have everyone on board. The White House, the state government, and the city government. Officials say nearly 60,000 asylum seekers are currently in the city's care. In Midtown, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Also tonight, the city and federal government, we are learning, have come to an agreement on the use of Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn as a migrant shelter.